All right, welcome back to the video series on converting your Chromebook end of life machine Do you to, want to a useful Chromebox computer again. Screen reader for Chrome OS. If so, press the space bar. Where we left off on the a previous video was we had uh, set up the hardware so that it is now in developer mode. So uh, you should be at that step before you start following the directions on this one. And the way you identify again whether or not you're in developer mode is when you log in and you see enable debugging features, that's an indication that you're in developer mode. All right, we're going to go through now and we're going to start setting up the script that's going to be used um, for this conversion over to Linux. So first thing I'm going to do is put it on Wi-Fi because one of the things it's going to do during this process is it is going to download some things. So I need to be on Wi-Fi before I can download anything. And of course I'm just going to accept all this good stuff. And when I get to the point where it asks me to log in, but at that stage is where we start to do things a little bit different. We're going to drop out to the command mode. Um, and the command mode basically gives us a command prompt where we're going to be typing in everything. Um, if you're used to the Windows version of a lot of things, this is really not much different. It's just a matter of typing in the commands um, at the command prompt. All right, it's going out and making sure everything is happy with the machine. And I get to the point of where it asks me for a login. At this stage, now I'm going to do something different. Now, that different thing, and I'm going to put this in the comments down below, that different thing is to go to the command prompt. And there's a variety of ways you can do it, but the simplest way at this stage on a Chromebook is to hold down Control and Alt, and then come over and click on the arrowhead pointing to the right. As soon as you do that, it goes into the command prompt. Now, this is where we want to be. This is where we're going to do most of the work here. Now, it's asking us for a localhost login. Again, I'm going to put this in the, in the comments down below, but the, the localhost login is Kronos, C-H-R-O-N-O-S. Again, look down in the comments below. You press enter. There is no need for a password at this point. Kronos is kind of a universal login that uh, gets us where we need to be. So it should not ask you for a password if you typed in Kronos. If it does ask you for a password, turn the thing off, go through the steps again. Our right, here is where we enter in a, a command that's going to go out and um, fetch, so to speak, a script that is going to do the job for us, to start doing the job for us. And it's from a website called Mr. Chromebox. I know it's an unusual name, but that's the name of the website. So we're going to start the command line. Now, you're going to listen to me explain it, but at the same time, I'm going to have this command line in the comments down below. So this command line is not specific to a Dell 3180. It can be used by any. So I'm going to go CD and then a... Uh, semicolon, and then curl, a dash, and LO. Now this is LO, not L0. And it makes a big difference in Linux whether or not it's uppercase or lowercase. This is uppercase LO. And then I'm going to type in the name of the um, website I'm going to go to. It's called mrchromebox.tech. And I'm going to be downloading a, a script called firmware dash util.sh.sh just means it's a script. And then I'm also going to do in the same command, so I don't have to do it twice, is put in another uh, command that's called sudo bash and then firmware dash util. It's essentially running that script that I'm downloading. So I have cd semicolon a space curl all lowercase, and then uppercase, dash, L-O. L-O, again, is all uppercase. And then a space, Mr. Chromebox.tech, slash firmware, dash, U-T-I-L, dot S-H. I know, it's a, it's a long thing, and you can see it in the comments and copy it and uh, do what you need to do with that. 
All right, I'm going to press enter at that point. It's going to go out to the internet. It's going to download some files. And in in process of downloading the files, it's going to identify uh, which computer Chromebook uh, this one is. And it's based upon a Chromebook name. The Chromebook name very often uh, is something kind of goofy here, but it is telling you that this one is an Intel Braswell. And the name of this type of Chromebook is called a Kefka. I don't know why they name it that way. That's just the name they gave them. Some of them are goofy names, and this one is called Kefka. Uh, at this stage is where we're going to make a choice from the menu uh, that's going to allow us to update the UEFI, which is the BIOS. All right, and what we're going to do is choose the number two and press enter. It's going to ask us, are you sure you want to do this? So I'm going to hit a Y and yes. And it's still asking us, are you really, really sure you want to do this sort of thing? I'm going to hit Y again. And the last thing it asks us is, do I want to back up the current Chrome OS? Now, uh, if this is just my machine uh, and this is the only one I had, I probably would say yes. But I've got backups of the Chrome OS. You can download backups of the Chrome OS if you need to. But essentially, the Chrome OS is not going to do you any good because it's not going to do updates anyway. So for this response, I'm going to choose no. And as soon as I choose no, it's going to go through and go through a set of steps. Now, as you watch it, it goes through and it says it's installing or it's disabling the software right to tech, and it's doing that uh, because we took the screw out. If we hadn't taken the screw out, it would have stopped right here and said, sorry, you can't go any further. The right protect is still in place. All right, it's installing a full ROM firmware, which is just a fancy name for BIOS, uh, that sits on the chip. So it's installing a new set of instructions on the chip itself. Now, this has nothing to do with the software. This is embedding it in the chip. Now, it's finished. It didn't, you know, so it doesn't take very long to do this step. And it says press enter to return to the main menu. I press enter. And at this point, my choices now are greatly reduced because I already did the number two choice, so it won't let me do that one again. All right, at this point, I'm going to hit uh, P to power off and press Enter, and it turns off the computer. All right, at this stage, you've now downloaded the script. You've run the script that essentially is converting the BIOS from the uh, Chrome OS the Chrome BIOS uh, into Mr. Chromebox script. And there's some differences here as we go along, but I'm going to stop the video at this point uh, because this is kind of one step and, and we finished this one step. So stay tuned for the next video and we're going to be talking about how to use a, a piece of software called RescueZilla and use that uh, to create the image that we need in order to uh, uh, continue the process.